<laughs> hello, hello, Pido, Pido Nectarines. Hi everyone, I'm Meredith Abbott and welcome to Sir La Table. Today I'm going to be showing you the perfect pie dough. This is a versatile pie crust, can be used for pies, tarts, and even savory baked goods. For this recipe, it's just a few simple ingredients, all-purpose flour, salt, unsalted butter, and ice water. Today I'm using a food processor, but you can also use a big bowl a pa and a pastry blender or a fork or your fingertips if you don't have one of these. To the bowl of the food processor, I'm adding my flour, my salt, and I'm just going to pulse this a few times just to combine the two ingredients. Now I'm going to add in my cubed chilled butter, always cold butter. So I want my butter to be super chilled going into this pie dough recipe, not soft like if you were making cookies or a cake. I want there to be lots of little flecks of butter so that when it hits the oven, the water evaporates and it gives you that super flaky pie crust. So butter in, pulse it a few times so it's about the size of large peas. I'm gonna check it. I've got some large pieces in there, some nice and small ones. Now that I'm happy with the size of the butter, I'm going to stream in slowly the ice water into the dough while pulsing. So you stream in the water slowly because sometimes you're gonna need more or less water. You want to stream it in just until it looks like wet sand. And when you press it, it holds together. So I'm happy with this. Now I'm going to turn it out onto my countertop to form it into a disc. You'll see it looks very crumbly. Tap it all out. And I'm just going to gather this into a disc. I'm not going to knead it at all. I just want to bring it together. This pie dough is enough for one crust, so a bottom layer. So if you're making a double crust pie with like a lattice top, you'll need to make two of these. This is great to do ahead. You can always make a double or even a triple batch and freeze some if you'd like. You can keep this in your refrigerator for two days, but any longer than that, you're gonna wanna take it and move it into your freezer. And before you're ready to bake next, just thaw it out in your refrigerator overnight and you're ready to roll it out. I'm rolling my dough and shaping it into a circle because I want my pie dough to be round when I roll it out. If you're making a lattice top pie, you're gonna wanna form this into a square so you can roll it out into a square or rectangle before you cut your strips to weave into that top. Now that the disc is formed, I'm going to wrap this in plastic wrap. You can finish kind of forming your disc a little bit while it's in the plastic. You can press it a little bit thinner if you'd like. It'll help you later when you're rolling it out. Now into the refrigerator it goes for 20 minutes. Okay, I have my chilled dough. It's nice and firm. It's been in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna uncover it. And now before I roll it out, I'm going to lightly flour my surface a little bit so that my dough doesn't stick. Nice thin layer, even as you can. And put a little bit on the top of the pie dough as well. And today I'm using a rolling pin. I'm going to make two indents into my pie dough, almost like an X. So then I'm going to turn it quarter turn, do a few passes with my rolling pin, keeping even pressure as possible, turning a quarter, couple more passes, and I'm going to keep making quarter turns as I roll, just to help retain that circular shape. If your pie dough cracks in the middle, per se, no worries, you can fix it. Pinch off a little piece of dough from the outside and press it into wherever your crack is. This is a pretty sturdy dough. This is a wonderful, versatile dough. You notice there's no sugar in it, so that's why I love this pie dough for its versatility. So you'll see that there's some flecks of butter still in the dough. That is a good sign that you've mixed it well. I don't see any big pockets of flour in here. 
it's rolling nicely, it's not shrinking back, so that makes me know that I've let it rest long enough. But you're looking for those little butter flecks throughout your dough. That is a good indicator that it's going to be a nice flaky dough. So if you're rolling your pie dough and you need it for a pie dish, standard pie dish is about nine inches and it has about, depending on the pie dish, about an inch and a half uh, lip on it. So you need to make sure you're rolling your pie dough wide enough to fill your entire pie dish. You just have a standard glass pie dish right here. You can measure it, lay it down, and you need about an inch to an inch and a half overhang on all sides. I'm gonna roll this out a little thicker. The ideal thickness of your pie crust is about an eighth of an inch. So you can also get down onto the counter and eyeball an eighth of an inch. You can also get down on this level to make sure that you have an even thickness. We tend to press a little bit harder on the pin as it's either closer or away from you. So check your outsides of your, the edges of your dough as well. I'm gonna stretch it a little wider. Because again, I like a lot of crust. And now you're ready to use it. This is your perfect pie dough. For recipe videos, cooking classes, and more, visit surlatob.com.